what this little one here came to me earlier on from the local vets. Now, they said it was a rabbit, but it's not. It's a brown hair. Easy mistake to make, though. But, can you see there? It got hit by a strimmer. So, I'm going to put it down so that I can take the mask and the gloves off. But the little lever, it was hit by a strimmer, which is not good news. Um, local vets, taken to local vets, they've cleaned it up and they've got the wound. So, she would normally be with mum, uh, but she's not in a fit state to go back to where her uh, mum would look after him. Uh, brown hairs leave their, uh, their young for a, if it, during the day and then they come back to them at night. So, mum's got to find the little one isn't there, but it's just not in a fit state to go back because of this wound. So, I've um, got some critical care formula and I'm giving it that and hopefully... Um, be able to get it uh, and keep it in care until it can be released again. I've got her settled in here, uh, wrapped up, but also on a couple of heat pads under there. This isn't just a wee video with a cute animal in it and saying, oh, Graham's looking after it, isn't that nice? This is actually quite a serious thing. If you're going to be doing any strimming or anything like that, check for wildlife. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, whether it's spring, summer, autumn or winter, there can be wildlife around. Even in winter, if you're strimming, there could be hedgehogs or something uh, spending the winter in there. Just be careful. So always check before you strim, um, because this little one was lucky that it was actually treatable, but sometimes the strimming uh, 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 accidents can be just devastating to wildlife, especially things like hedgehogs, so please be careful. <laughs>